This should finish up the last of the wood scale details. This is the air breather for the engine. Then I've carved out the opening in the cowling. Drumbled it. A little bit of work with number 11 exacto and a small piece of sandpaper. Looking at the pictures, looks to me like there is a radius in the ductwork of the cowling for the air breather. And there it is. The last of the wood build. Not gonna lie, I almost hate to paint this. I feel the same way when I build a balsa wood model airplane. Almost seems like a shame to cover up good woodwork. My total weight at this point in the build. Six point eight ounces. Or one hundred ninety two grams. That's all these scale features. And servo aluminum cooling tubes and the brass tube for my rudder linkage. I've been pondering cowling attachments for a while and I want to do it in such a way to keep the scale looks fairly clean. So I'm doing it with magnets. I have two magnets in the front and one in the rear. And then I had this idea for an internal mechanism to cause the rear magnet to release. Push this button down, releases the rear magnet, when you lift the back of the cowling, it causes the front magnets to release. To run the boat, drop the cowling in place, self aligns. There's my cowling attachment using magnets. We'll take a closer look at how this works, but first, check out these pictures of all the components I had to fabricate for this. It also took a bit of messing around to fit everything into the boat. So maybe this idea isn't for everyone, but I'll share it anyway. Maybe you can use it or adapt it to work for you in some fashion. The rear magnet sticks to this spring right here. This is also the mechanism that causes it to release. I made that from a piece of 15 thou shim stock, which is basically spring steel. It goes through this piece of 16th ply, which is notched and epoxied into this piece of basswood here. And it's setting up under a former back here that's just like this one up here. So it's just in a relaxed position. And the magnet, when the cowling's on, is pulling this piece of spring steel up against this um, former. When you push the button, there's a rod that pushes this down, and that causes the magnet to release. Here is the rod and the button I'm pushing to actuate the release of the magnet. This is made from piece of 1 16th music wire. It runs through the brass tube, just like my rudder linkage. I'll grease that up and that'll be waterproof. 
I just cut a small piece of the brass tubing, super glued it on for the button, and on the bottom side, to keep it from falling out of the boat, I just have a piece of uh, heat shrink tubing. In the front, I have two pockets cut into the top deck. It's 1 16th balsa. So those are halfway through the balsa, so 30 second deep. And I have the magnets sticking out 30 second. So that locates the cowling. And there's two magnets underneath that are glued into that balsa wood um, piece of sheeting I showed in the pictures. And they're epoxied up underneath. I just had to get all the locations accurate. So I took a Dremel tool with an eighth inch bit, cut out the pockets for the magnets and then for the locating pockets. So that makes the front even stronger. It's two magnets to two magnets. Weakened it a little bit by having a 30 second of balsa wood between the two magnets. Here's a look with a mirror at the magnets on the inside. They're epoxied into this sheet of 1 16th balsa. That holds the magnets in place. I also cut the sheet of balsa to fit between the um, basswood strips. So it also locates the magnets to line up with the pockets that are on the top side. So that's what I mean when I say maybe this isn't for everyone. Took a bit of messing around to get everything to work, but once it's all in place, it's actually quite simple. And boy, does that work slick. Taking the cowling on and off the boat. Here's a quick rundown on cutting out the opening for the stuffing tube and getting everything aligned. I'm using an 098 thou drill because I don't have a rod that size. So make sure it's running true. Now I have a piece of um, 1 8 aluminum tubing. So I just slide that down the drill bit or if you have a rod and then I mark where that first starts touching the floor. Then I start cutting an undersized slot and when I get it opened up a bit I move to a longer piece of this tubing and now I'm cutting that slot and I'm keeping everything aligned by sliding this down through there and opening the slot up. That's going to be cut bigger coming through the bottom for the uh, stuffing tube. Once I get it cut by looking at the clearance around the eighth inch lunum tube, get it lengthened. Now I have my stuffing tube. I've bent it and I'm stacking up the eighth inch lunum tubing and I used a piece of heat shrink because I didn't have another piece of tubing that size. So sliding that together that's going to center this stuffing tube on the drill bit. Now this will keep everything aligned. Slide my stuffing tube up onto the drill bit or 098 rod if you have one. Turn it around. I have the strut mounted loose so I can tip it back. Put that in the strut, slide my stuff into it back to get the gap I want, line this mark up with my original mark, check to see that we got 
a nice straight gap that gives clearance on both sides on the stuffing tube. Got a mark here where it fits right up against this strut here. And I got the length cut off where it fits in the strut. Now that's ready to epoxy in the uh, floor stuffing tube. 